getting set up here with a uh, three-point contact on the machinist jacks to be able to measure this vise and get the T-slot tabs to be adjusted so that way when it's placed on the milling machine, the vise is more parallel with the x-axis. So I've got the height gauge right here and I um, move it across here and I look for movement on the needle. You can see it like this better. You can see that it's not moving because I have it leveled out. Take it off of there, it jumps off. So now I'm gonna go around to the other side and show you how I get it set vertical. But the key here is the three point contact. Checking out the T-slot tabs. I'm actually on the bottom surface there, you can see. Uh, and I've got it zeroed out. And now I'm gonna go over to the other side and watch how much this is off. It's really a lot. So right now, obviously we're in the air, but I should be on the zero if I come over here. But look at this, I'm at three, four thousandths right there and then on top of being off by four thousandths across it's even five thousandths right there so this thing isn't even uh, parallel to the surface plate so I'm gonna work these with the grinder but this explains why when you set this up on the mill that this is not parallel to the x-axis that grinding is completed and you can see there's what five thousandths looks like almost nothing but the the dial has adjustments and half a thousandth up there to go from there to there is a full five thousandths with half inch increments in between now the locator tabs for the t slot are now the same I picked the high spot right there on the needle. And if I go over here, I've got it exactly the same or within a half of a thousandth. Human hair is like two thousandths. So I'm gonna call that pretty good.